I want to talk to you about a case I handled involving a 39-year-old carpenter who hurt his back when he fell from a scaffold while working at a job site. Unfortunately, injuries to a person's spine, to their back and their neck, um, especially for people who are working in jobs, hard manual labor jobs such as construction, can be the end of their career. Now all of us at different points in time in our lives may experience some type of back and neck pain. That's a function of just getting older, unfortunately. But it's a little bit different when you have a traumatic type injury that's as a result of a fall. You may have involved in a similar situation where you've been working at a construction site, been involved in some other type of accident where you sustained an injury to your back or your neck. I want to talk to you today a little bit about what you should do in those types of circumstances and what our firm can do for you. Hi, I'm Raymond Silverman, one of the principal trial attorneys here at the law firm of Parker Wakeman. That story that I began telling you about that case took a very typical course of cases such as that. The defendants in that case tried to make the argument that my client's injuries were what is called degenerative in nature. The concept of degeneration as it relates to various body parts and in particular the spine is not unusual at all. As each of us get older and we cross a certain age, our spines start to degenerate. The discs which make up our back and our neck um, begin to lose some of the hydration um, and sometimes can be painful, but often not painful. Just something that shows up on a diagnostic test such as an MRI that one might take. As often the case, a person at the age of 39 years old is going to have such degeneration in his spine. And in the case such as I was telling you about, the defendants in the case tried to argue that my client's injuries were not related to his fall, but were related to this degeneration. We were able to show that that argument was completely fallacious that there was no prior problems that my client had before the accident and it was clear that the only event that could have caused his current problems were from the fall that he sustained. This was important because as I mentioned to you before my client who worked a manual job couldn't go back to work anymore doing that because of the problems he had with his lower back. His future and his family's future was potentially compromised. We were able to resolve that case for him, protect him and his family's interests for the rest of their lives. You may have been involved in an accident where you sustained an injury to your neck or your back. As a result, you may have questions about what to do or what type of doctors to see or how you should handle that type of injury. We have answers to those questions. I handle cases involving injuries to a person's spine every single day. Call me. I can help answer your questions. My name again is Raymond Silverman, and thank you very much for your time listening today.